In this video, we're going to focus on how to change the background color in JavaScript with a click of a button. So basically, you have a button, and with that button, you can start to adjust the background color. You can set a background color, it will trigger a function, and then the background will adjust of a specific div. So let's start and explore that. First of all, you see here, this is our blank template here, or this is the browser. You see it's completely blank, and this is our starting point here, basically all the standard requirements. So what we're going to do here is, first of all, we're going to create a div here. And this div, we give it a class, and then we say that it is the content box. And in this content box, we're going to put in some basic paragraph information. We'll say ABC here. And what we want to do eventually is we want to have a button. And we'll put this button here above. So we say here a button, and in this button, we will say change background color. Basically, when we click on this button, we will adjust the background color here of this specific div. So I will save this and refresh. You can see here we have this. What I want to do is I want to give the content box some decent styling. All right. So what we're going to do here is the following. You will say here the class content box. And make sure because if I have a capitalized B, also be consistent here. And I'm putting here some basic design. I'm going to use here the flex box, putting the text at the very center. Basically here, center, center. All right. So we say here, display flex. And once we have this, what we do more is we do item align or align item, sorry. And this one will be in the center. So basically, what we do here is we make it a flex box, and once it's a flex box, we're going to align this item. And this is aligning an item vertically. But of course, since if we save this, let's save this first and refresh, you will not see any adjustments because we didn't set up a height. And I'm going to adjust the height later on. And then next we will say here, justify content center. Once we do that, what happens is we push it now to the center. So now what I want to do is I want to push this here down. So we'll say here, the height and we, to make it easy I'll just say 100 uh, percent of the viewing screen not of the viewport basically our screen here there we are and then you might have here some scrolling and the reason why is because this is 100 percent probably you can put the button in there as well so let's adjust the button and reposition it besides here all right so once we do that it's all besides here all right fair enough Maybe what we can do here is we will just say here button. We just give it a block, display block. So then what happens if we save this, refresh, push this there, and then maybe as well the paragraph as well, because the paragraph is inline. So we say here as well. So they will be just below each other. Display block. And once we did that, uh, oh, oh, sorry, of course, this doesn't work like that. So the reason why is this is in. Flex box, so we say here flex direction. That's what I want. And then we say here the flex direction will be uh, column. When we save that, there you are, that looks fine. All right, so we've got this now. Now let's start to work on our nice uh, JavaScript part. So what we're going to do here is we say here script. And once we have that here in the closing tag, and within here, what we want to do is basically on the on click. So the moment we click on this, at that very moment, our background should adjust. And we can say here right now, our background is black. No, we can do black here. I want to do the hashtag, but no need. But the font size, of course, doesn't adjust here. So we say here maybe um, color white. All right, so that looks fine. And you can see here we have some uh, margin and panning around here. This is default setting from the website or from, from the browser itself. We, can, we should normally do a remove everything you using the universal uh, selector, but for now it doesn't matter. What we're going to focus on is now is on the uh, how to change the background color. Basically what we want to do here is with the JavaScript button. We have the button now, we have the paragraph. So here, what we're going to do is the following. We create a function. We need to have a function and this function basically will be called change background and we have parentheses and then open and closing curly brackets so within here we will indicate the color basically that's going to adjust so in here we can say the following 
what happens? So the mo we want, what we want to do is the moment we click on this, we want to trigger this function, and this function should do the following. First of all, this function must know that we want to pinpoint this specific content box class. So what we do here, we say document, and what this really means is go in the HTML document, which is this document here, of course, and search for, so we need to have query, and query that we type in selector, and selector is another word for the element and a selector is a diff can be a selector but also the class can be a selector so in here what we're searching for is the content box which is a class selector double quotations and i would recommend to use single quotations by default in javascript this is a standard there and they put in dot to indicate that we're looking for a class so now we're looking for a class what is the class name well this is the class name so we copy this is in here and once we did that the next thing what we want to do here is say dot and then we say we want to change the background color here I'm gonna make this K here sorry it's misspelling uh, so we have here this and then we say here the style because basically we're going in this element and then we say we want to go to the style basically this tag here saying we want to adjust this to do that in JavaScript we must say background color with the letter C and then equal here we put a string imagine if you want to have a background color blue put in blue here you can save that of course once we trigger this or how will we trigger this well we need to have here an on click option here so if we say here on click equals and then here the on click so when we click on this button javascript must understand or we want to trigger a function in javascript this is basically what we're saying here but what's the function name this is our function name here once we got that we put it in here we save this and now if we refresh here and press on this there you are so this is a way to do it because now we have here basically blue another way to adjust this background color is to set it up because now we only have one button Assume that you only have one button. What if you have multiple buttons where you want to adjust it as well? Almost like a traffic light design. So what we can do here is we can do here different colors. So we can say here, blue, red, and here green. So RGB basically, but then just not in the correct order, but that doesn't matter. So here, this doesn't work. So you might say here, well, the solution would be to make this here one, two and three having three different functions no don't do this this is what i did before which was absolutely wrong but i was at that time a real beginner had no idea how it had to do had to do it so what we can do is here we can put in here a value and this value or argument or parameter will be re recorded here or it will understand that this has a value whatever is the value here it will just get it and then convert it and put it in here so let's say here this color here will be blue here and this is all string values and this should be in single quotation why single quotation because you already have here double quotation so you cannot double use quotation not you will break the code so that's very important we have here red and finally we have your green or we can even do light green that's maybe a slightly brighter one you have your dark red if i'm not mistaken that should be one and this will be steel blue all right so then when we say here color and then we remove this and just say here color so what will happen now is basically the moment we click on it we will, we will get this value and in javascript it understands this value as the color so basically steel blue equals color at this moment that's the variable so basically the constant would be constant color equals whatever we click here above that's basically what we're doing here without writing the same code here so this is more dynamic so once we save this refresh and then we start to click on it this is blue it's still blue that's correct then we have red which is dark red and then we have light green there you are and now we have different colors and this is really a useful trick in playing with certain items and this is how you can change the background with one button and of course change it with multiple buttons you can control more control more different colors Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.